The infamous August 17th has arrived, and no, it's not my birthday, though that is coming up. Hi, I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert and your personalized real estate concierge. Today marks a significant shift in how we handle real estate transactions, and I wanted to break it all down for you buyers, sellers, and everyone in between. August 17th is here. Real estate as we, as we know it is now forever changed, or at least until someone else decides the old way was better and files a new lawsuit. Just kidding. These new uncharted territories are going to affect buyers, sellers, and the entire real estate industry. But don't worry, I'm here to simplify things and help you understand what exactly is happening and what you should expect moving forward in the real estate market. So let's dive in. The new listing agreements. For sellers, one of the biggest changes in the listing agreements when you hire a realtor to sell your house off the MLS through consultations with real estate professionals. It's a shift that promotes transparency and ensures that compensation discussions happen more directly between the parties that are involved. MLSs still have local discretion over seller concessions, but those concessions can no longer be tied to compensation to a buyer's broker. Buyer agreements. If you're a buyer, here's what you need to know. Before you can even tour a home, you'll need to enter into a written buyer agreement with your agent. This document spells out exactly how much your agent will be compensated and from where that compensation will come. This new requirement is all about clarity. The agreement must include a clear disclosure of the amount or rate of compensation the agent will receive. A specific statement that broker fees and commissions are not set by law and are fully negotiable. Assurance that the agent won't accept compensation that exceeds the agreed upon amount. These agreements are required whether you're touring a home in person or through a live virtual showing. Keep in mind, though you don't need an agreement just to talk to an agent at an open house or to ask about their services. What it all means for buyers and sellers. Ultimately, this settlement preserves consumer choice when it comes to real estate services and compensation. Buyers and sellers alike can still negotiate compensation with their agents, but it's all going to be handled differently now. For sellers, this might mean a more direct conversation about compensation, compensating the buyer's broker at the time of the purchase agreement. For buyers, it means understanding upfront what your agent is being paid and how that impacts your transaction. Remember, agent compensation is fully negotiable. So don't hesitate to ask the right questions about services, fees, and those all important written agreements. Whether you're buying or selling, these new changes aim to make the process more transparent and tailored to your needs. It's essential to understand not only what you're paying, but the value you're receiving. Realtors aren't all the same and our services vary widely, so make sure you're getting what you need exactly. So much like the Y2K scare in 1999, when we all thought the internet would crash and we'd return to the dark ages, there's a lot of anticipation and change right now. Stay informed, ask questions, and don't be caught off guard by the shifting landscape in the real estate industry. And before you go, hit that, and before you go, hit that like and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all things real estate. I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert. And as always, I'm here to guide you through it all. I hope you have a great day. Happy August 17th.